Hello, it's Christy Hawk with Prairie Quilt, and I wanted to show you how to make your first cut with heat transfer vinyl using your Scan and Cut SDX 225. I have me a piece of heat transfer vinyl glitter. It's my favorite in my favorite color of purple. So let's make a cut. If you notice on your heat transfer vinyl when you get it, you're gonna have a shiny side and a dull side. The dull side is the glue. The shiny side is where your iron lays to apply it to your product. So let's get started. Like I said in my opening the box video, I use my standard mat 90% of the time. So here I have my standard mat. I have my heat transfer vinyl and I'm going to apply it to my mat. What's great about the Scan and Cut is you can apply this anywhere to this mat. And I'm going to use my roller because you want to make certain that you try to leave your fingertips off the mat as much as possible because your oil soak into the mat and then that takes away some of your sticky. So here we go. I have it applied to my mat. Now with this model, the mats and the machine have become a little more particular. So it is um, critical that you be sure and not bend the edges or the corners of your mat that start in the feeder system right here. You may have a little trouble if they get bent. So I've got my mat laid over here in the grooves. On this side of the screen, you'll notice you have your power button, the home button, your load and unload mat button, and a pause button. We're going to press the load mat button. Now we have our mat loaded. Okay, so we're going to cut a word out to put on our fabric. So let's go to our patterns and I'm going to go to my words. And if you notice when you go into a folder, there's usually another folder that contains subfolders. So I'm gonna press this right here, and I'm going to find the word smile. They are in alphabetical order also. Here's the word smile. When it comes in, on this screen, you will notice it has sizes. This is a helpful tool. So I already have my product on the mat and I can tell that it's approximately one and a half inches wide by four inches long. So I know that when it comes in, this says 2.03 by 5.91, that it's going to be too big. So I can adjust it right now on this screen to fit my piece of material. Whoops, let's go back up a little bit. That's great. We're gonna do it an inch 1.3 inches by 3.79. On this screen, also it allows you, if I need to cut more than one word, I can do that here. It says one, so I'm gonna cut the smile one time. If I needed to cut it several times, I could change this and make it multiple times. I'm gonna hit set. When it comes in on your mat on the screen, it always goes to the upper left-hand corner. But they don't call this a scan and cut for a reason because I put my product down here and I need that to be on my product. So over here on this side, you're gonna see the words add, edit, a grouping box, what I call looks like an oven door, which is your scan button, and a wrench for a tool. I'm going to press my quote oven door and start. Isn't it quiet? I love it. Okay, so now when you see on my screen, I have the word smile, but you also see my purple piece of heat transfer vinyl. Now I didn't mention when I put this on my mat, the heat transfer vinyl, it's essential that you place the shiny side of the heat transfer vinyl down. 
the dull side up, the glue side up. So with that being said, the word smile then will need to be mirrored. You need to cut it backwards because our piece of product is backwards. So you can go ahead and drag this to the product that you want it to be on, like so. But then we need to reverse it or mirror image it. So I'm going to go to edit. Maybe hard to tell, but around the word smile, I have a red box. I have it right along the edge of my product and I'm concerned that maybe that it may cut off the edge of my product. So I can go to this magnification tool right here to zoom in to see where it's at. This is something new also that was added on this model. These arrows to be able to move the screen to be able to see more. They also added these arrows that if I needed to move this box down a little bit, which I do, I can use these arrows and move my design. It is such a fantastic feature. It is zoomed in to 200% at the moment, but if I needed to see it a little closer, it will go up to 400% and I would push this magnification tool right here if I needed to. I'm happy with the way it looks, so I'm going to say okay. Once again, if you're doing the heat transfer vinyl, don't forget to mirror image your object. So from this screen, I'm going to hit Object Edit. We need to edit that object we brought in. So I'm going to hit that. Now if you notice, you have several buttons. They're pretty self-explanatory, honestly. Shaping, adding more to it, rotation, adding a quarter inch. But the next one's the important one, right here. This is the mirror image button, the two triangles that are facing one another. I'm going to press that. It will turn blue that allows me to realize that I have pressed it and that my object is mirror image now. I'm going to say okay. And I'm happy with everything. I've checked the placement. I've mirror imaged. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of edit and hit okay. At this screen, I'm ready to go ahead and cut my word smile. So I'm going to say okay. And now it brings me to this. It says, please select. This is where I'm gonna to choose to cut. It gives you multiple options down through here on page one and two to do other things, but I want to cut. So I'm gonna press the word cut. When you get to the screen, it's a very important screen. Right before you hit the word cut, whenever you cut your heat transfer vinyl, you want to make certain that you only cut through half of the product. So with this model, they have changed it to add a half cut feature. You want to be able to cut through the glitter part, but you don't want to cut through the clear part that I talked about on the top. That's where your iron goes. So that allows you to press it. So that needs to stay. Just like with your craft vinyl, the paper needs to stay on the back. With heat transfer vinyl, the clear iron sheet needs to stay on the top. So once you've pressed cut, You'll notice down through here in the verbiage, it says pressure, speed, and then half cut. Please make sure that after half cut, that it says on. If it does not say on, press your wrench, go to page two, right here where it says half cut, turn it to on. Now we're ready. When it begins, it's going to come over here and check the depth to the mat. That's one of the auto blade features. It's going to come over here, check the depth to the mat, back off a half, and begin cutting my word smile. It is so quiet. That's one of my favorite things about it also. You can use it in the middle of the night while everyone's sleeping in your house and they have no idea what you're doing. Okay. So I have cut my word smile. I'm going to say okay. And I'm gonna press my matte unload button. There we have it. Now these are two things that Brother has come out with that I really enjoy using. I love the metal spatula and I need the pick to be able to weed off the extra. Like I said, be sure and use your tools and not get your fingerprints on the mat. 
Now if you notice on here, it's really kind of hard to see your cuts. All I see is glitter. But if you look carefully and kind of move it in the light, you'll be able to see where the cut is, okay? So I want the word smile to be able to be heat applied to something, so I need to take everything out around smile off. So give me just a moment. I'm using my pick tool. I get a corner started, and then I should be able to weed. This is like my favorite thing to do. Has two little eyes in the word E. The smiley face is so cute. Okay, it's that simple. Now I have the word smile cut out. I can take it and apply it to my shirt or to some other type of fabric with some heat from your home iron. Just be sure you have it hot. Lay it on for 30 or so seconds. Check the corner if you need to apply it more. Hit it with a little more heat and you have done your heat transfer vinyl. Hope you have fun. Make your first cut.